So hello all the frustrated people. I've been asked now multiple times to share my opinion about the second beta test and whilst I already said that I would do a comprehensive overview of the second beta test when it's over, so end of the month, I feel like I need to share at least some first impressions right away. Though I don't think it's gonna make things better or soothe the minds of all the angry people out there because I'm pretty sure that I hold a very unpopular opinion. So you may guess already that the general sentiment is that the second beta test is horrible. The main reason being that the game has been changed so much. But I would argue that it's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of the people who are upset about the changes are people who have been playing this game already, and I don't mean the second beta test. I mean either people who speak the language and have been playing the Asian version of the game that has been out for over a year now, or people who have been using translating apps to play that version of the game. And when you've played something for over a year that works, seeing it being turned upside down, yeah, I can see how that could be frustrating. Now, I'm in a slightly more unique position because I've only ever played the beta test, the first one and now the second one for a little bit. So I don't have as much emotional attachment to either version of the game. I will say, I don't think there was anything that wrong with the original version of the game, at least based on the beta test. Sure, there were some things that I would have liked seeing change, and they actually have, which is why I'm not against the second beta test version. My first impressions of the first beta test were just feeling overwhelmed, because the game basically introduced everything to you all at once and when you're a new player and you don't know what is going on yet and Magic Awaken, let's be honest, is a pretty complicated game. It is presumably a mobile game but when you play it, it genuinely feels like a video game and that can be a lot of information to consume and figure out at first. Now the second beta test or the second version of the game has solved a lot of those issues and initially presents a much more toned down, simplified version of the game. Is the new version perfect? No! The interface is still pretty confusing and some of the stuff that they've kind of gotten rid of or put in the back burner should be brought back into the spotlight, like the story chapters. The first beta test made following the story very simple. You could easily access the storybook and see the chapters. Now, finding where exactly the story is placed in the interface is a bit more tricky. And so, is the interface perfect now? No, it's still confusing. As I said, they've limited a lot of the options, at least early on. Do those changes make sense? No. For example, you only visit Ollivander now a few chapters into the story when you've already attended classes and dueling club, which doesn't really make sense. Technically, you do have a wand from the get-go and what you really do at Ollivander's is obtain skins for the wand, which is pretty cool, but you still probably would like to get the wand before you enter Hogwarts. Another thing that has been pushed uh, farther into the game is customization. I will share what that looks like in a couple of days. They've certainly changed that as well. We now have like 40 different face options, but at the same time, you can't really purchase any outfits because you frankly can't afford any of them by the time you get to do that. So that's a bit of a minus. But these are mostly things that were kind of meh during the first beta test as well. One major change between the first and the second beta test is the removal of house chests, which were chests that you needed to unlock to be able to progress in the story. A lot of people are upset about this, however, I frankly prefer it this way. I'm really done with grinding and frankly having to unlock these chests, sometimes three of them to just unlock the next story chapter, it's a lot of grinding and I hate grinding. Now we don't have that. There is a new system, do I fully understand it yet? No, but I do kind of prefer the new way. It frankly just makes for a smoother gameplay, which is all I ever wanted. Another thing that was removed were daily, weekly homework tasks, 
Once again, when you first start the game, it is overwhelming and frankly, I can live without events and side quests and whatnot. When I first start a game, I want to do the story, I want to see the key features, maybe some customization and the events can wait a little bit, especially considering that the game is still in development. They've gotten to year three in the story, so there's still a lot of work to be done. When I'm used to the game, then I can start doing other stuff. The main question remains though, should a global version of an already existing game really be changed so drastically? Who knows? I don't have a clear answer to that. All I can say is that as a new player fresh to the game, all I really care is the functionality of the game and whichever way works better works for me so let's just all keep open minds keep playing keep sharing what we find and as usual thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video oh and also subscribe <laughs> bye